you know, it's not finna be one of those videos where I have like a bunch of sad music playing or nothing like that, but guess this is just one of those videos where I just gotta be real with y'all. Um You know, for a while now I've been having like this negative you know, this negative monkey on my back that just keeps weighing me down. And I've been feeling this way for since last year, since like late last year when I <sighs> got fired from my job and I, you know, I, I, I really haven't been feeling too hot. Um, about some things. So, um, and this right here is just like, it's one of them things that just like, it just like hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, What you're seeing, right? I mean, this. I, I was looking at this, right? And it's just. This is like a Bandai Namco event that they're having in San Francisco, which is, you know. Um, you know, like it's a free event. And uh, it's actually today. The, the time I'm recording this is 1 39 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They're having this out in San Francisco. Uh. And I'm not going to be able to make it to there. Because the only way I can make it there is, is by train. And, like, you know, my pockets are empty right now. So I'm just, like, kind of sitting on the sidelines. And, you know, and it's not the fact that I can't necessarily make it. It's the fact that it's just like this. You know, I've been dealing with like this negative cloud just over me nonstop, and it seems like any time I've ever gotten ahead, even by like a just by a small margin, it's like it's always something to remind me that I'm not where I need to be in order to be somewhat of a success at doing what I'm doing, you know. I told myself last year when I printed my first business cards that I was going to be able to go around and, you know, travel and do things like that. But then I ended up lost, losing my job for like the dumbest, most out of my, you know, I was basically I lost my job. It wasn't necessarily my fault. It's just that my bank card got blocked, of all things. How it happened, the bank doesn't know. I don't know. I didn't lend the card out to anybody. It just got blocked. And because of that, couldn't make it to work, ended up getting fired. First time I ever got fired from a job. And if I got anything to say about it, it's going to be the last time. But it's just like... It was out of nowhere. Some of you guys know I'm, you know, some of you have been viewers of mine from from way back when I first started on YouTube. And it's just like, you know, dealing with the the negativity of me being in Louisiana and the lack of opportunities there, me creating an opportunity with this and finally getting a plane and get the hell up out of Louisiana, which is something that I needed to do because there's no opportunities for people like myself there and you know I felt like I finally escaped that dark cloud but then this was back in 2014 May 6 2014 when I first touched down in California and it's just like since then I mean things were on the rise you know I was able to get jobs easier I was able to you know I was making more money I was like the internet was better out here, much better out here. And it's just like, it was like this steady climb, this steady incline. It finally felt like I just finally got that dumbass, ignorant, dark cloud over me for no reason feeling. It just, like, it was just gone, you know, and things were just moving up and up, you know. I, you know, granted, I did have a, a, a real shitty job when I first got here working at a big lot that the manager was terrible and all that it was just like the pay was horrible 
but it was it showed progress i stayed over there for a year went to a local home depot better job better people to be around to this day i say that home depot job was like one of the best jobs i ever had because it's like never will i ever get another job where i feel like the people that are in the the higher position like the the store managers and the supervisors never will i ever get another job where i feel like everybody came to work with a level head and didn't have this chip on their shoulder you know what i mean it's just like every like it, it just felt you know like a genuine fun environment where you can get your job done and still have a smile on your face at the end of the day regardless of all the bs from the customers and all that you know ended up being over there like a year and six months ended up leaving year got me a, a warehouse job um in a town close by uh made way more money i was making than, than i was making at home depot and you know and this is as the years are going on and i'm just like things are getting so well and then the bank card situation happened and i'm just like man here we go again and ever since then this happened like november 20th 2017 this was like november of last year and i'm just like it's it, it's a constant reminder of something like you know you know i've been through depression before bro but it's just like i felt like i was escaping it and it's just like it's it's slowly but surely creeping right back up to me and it's just like it's depressing you know what i mean because you know these are the business i don't know if it's going to show correctly on here oh it does but um these are the business cards that i made you know th these aren't the original ones but these are the ones that i made after the fact you know i don't my webcam is kind of blurry because my laptop is shitty <sighs> that's another story within itself but um you know front and back did uh i think i did pretty good with them you know what i mean um The, the, the webcam is bad on this damn thing. This laptop is just old as hell. I can't even afford to get a new one. Like, I can't do things that I need to do with this. And it's just like everything is just, it's like all crashing down to the point where it's just like, damn, can I even continue to do this? You know, uh, it, it's been so many events like this where I, I wanted to go you know because this is like only like this is a walking within walking distance of the, of the train station like this is only an 11 minute walk from the train station dude i can it's just getting there to to san francisco and it's just like i don't have the means to get there and one after another this ain't the only event that that that's been making me feel like this is just like back to back to back events you know i got the business cards printed because I wanted to, you know, network and promote my channel and get more viewers to here and possibly, you know, build this into something where I can actually make a living off of it. And it's just these constant, like, bullshit moments where it's just like, damn, another one, damn, I can't get to this one, I can't get to that one. And it's not just, it's not just that, man. It's like, I'm looking at this and I'm just, you know... And I, and I, I go to my channel and I look at like the 2,075 subs. Like, dude, I love you guys, I really do. But it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling. And I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. This ain't me being necessarily mad. This ain't me being jealous of other YouTubers or Twitch live streamers or whatever that you know have interactive fan bases that you know donate and, and show support in other ways and things like that it's for for me it's, it's it's not anger it's not jealousy it's not hate it's more so along the lines of confusion you know what i mean it's it's just confusion because i'm I, when i live stream 
it's like my, you know, I, I look at the subscriber count and I look at different things and I'm just like, you know, I got 2,075 subscribers, you know, and my, and, and my live stream attendance is like virtually zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and that's like, you know, for somebody that's trying to build this into something, that's, that, you know, that's depressing. Because, like I said, it's not j jealousy. It's not hate. It's not necessarily me pointing the finger and be like, yo, it's your fault, your fault. No, 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 ain't that. It's, it's, it's more so me because I'm just wondering, maybe I'm just not doing the right things. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just not, you know, maybe I haven't done anything so outlandish that, you know what I mean, that it just attracts the wrong people here. you know what i mean this is a genuine youtube channel i call it the most genuine channel on youtube if that means anything it means something to me because you're not going to get anything you know outlandish here necessarily unless it's a genuine reaction to something you know i don't i don't just go out and try to do a backflip off of a, a 10 story building in order to get you know youtube fame like I, that's just not me this is a genuine cool video game environment live stream environment that where you can come you know relax chill do things it just felt like i'm i don't know if it's just that i'm not i don't know man like, it's just something that just just kills me about that you know, I see the subscriber count. I see my live stream attendance at damn near zero every time I go live. It's like, I don't know if people just not getting the notifications or it's just not, you know, because I understand with more live stream attendance means I can, you know, possibly get partnered on Twitch. And that means more money in my pocket that I can put towards things like this and, you know, go to events like this. You know what I mean? And it's just like the opportunity thing. It's just like it's not. It's like it's just not happening for me, man. Like, I'm, you know, I don't mean to sound like I've been playing video games for since I was like three years old, man. Like this is all I ever wanted to do since I was little was make money playing video games. Like that's it. That's all I wanted to do, man. And you gotta understand when, you know, I, again, I'm from Louisiana, and I'm pretty sure the people in other states went through the same thing I went through growing up playing like i'm a 90s baby i was born in 1988 i'm you know like i'm 28 years old now you know i've been playing video games since i was three beating video games since i was three you know i mean i, I came up during the arcade era where you know it wasn't always cool to say that you was playing video games you know when i was coming up it was always like the high school jocks you know the people who were playing football you know what I'm saying, getting all the girls, things like that, versus the, you know, them picking on guys like me. You know, of course I fought back, but it was just like, you know, just dealing with that every day, having a fight just because, you having a good, getting the fist fights, dude, just because you're playing video games. You know what I mean? And, you know, going through all that in that era, to now all of a sudden everybody's a damn gamer. You know what I mean? Is when you, when you see that, and then you see, you know they got some of these females on, like, Twitch and YouTube, never played a video game in their life, but you know there's a certain group of people that are just going to flock to them because, oh, look, it's a streamer with boobs, and you know what I mean? It's, it does get you depressed because it's, it's like, dang, dude, in an environment like this, can I be successful? You know what I mean? Like, is it possible for me to be successful without using some, you know outlandish method to just bring in people like you know what I mean like I came from a time where I had to, you know where if you said you were playing video games you were considered a nerd and you had to fight you know what I mean like I'm, I'm kind of glad we're not going through that but being somebody who, who went through that every day and trust me i'm giving you the mild version of everything i had to go through like you guys have no clue you know the the because i don't like bringing a lot of negativity to this channel if any at all it's just like 
but that that is the mild version in comparison to what actually happened you know I'm, I'm, all I'm gonna say is it wasn't just like swirlies getting done to people and things like that people were getting like all, all, all because you you were considered a nerd and you played video games you were considered a certain type of person and that you so certain things happen to you I'm gonna just leave it at that you know what I mean? I ain't talking about no extreme cases of raping or like no, no, nothing like that at all. But it's just like you know, you had to fight for your life basically at times, cause just because you play video games. And I came through that. You know what I mean? And not to mention like the whippings and things like I was so into video games, dude. I would play video games before I did my homework. Now, of course, you know, obviously that was stupid, but you know I still graduated and things like that. But just to go through that, like that's just how passionate I was about this. You know what I mean? And I, I look at events like this, and it's just like a, things like this are always out of my reach. You see, like no matter how close I feel like I'm getting, it's just, it's just reminders, you know, be it a financial thing or like whatever, that just everything, it, it feels like it's just right there in my grasp. It's just right out of my fucking reach. And no matter what I do, it seems like it's always going to remain out my damn reach. You know, tomorrow is supposed to be like a big, big day for me. You know, this is supposed to be like the World Warriors Collective, my esports team. You've seen the business cards. You know, I got the shirt. You know, some of you have seen the shirt. Um, you know, it's just constant reminders like... Uh, Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just don't know. You know, I don't. You know, it's a part of me that just, you know, wants me to just get his shit up. Honestly. But even if I said that I stop, I'll stop doing it just instinctively. You know, I'm going I'm to upload it again tomorrow just instinctively off of instinct. You know what I mean? Because deep down, like video games is me like you know what i mean that's that's you know avenues like twitch and youtube were you know the gaming communities on that they, they were made for guys like me you know what i mean like everybody's not going to be a doctor and a lawyer unfortunately you know what i mean everybody's not going to be that you know some of us you know video games were our forte and being through everything, especially me, when I was going through all the nonsense I was going through, it was a real good escape. You know what I mean? Um, video games was a reason why, you know, I didn't shoot up a school. You know, tell the F, you know, tell Trump and all of them that that wants to blame gun shootings on video games. You know, I had that escape. You know, instead of me shooting up a school, how about I get in the game and I shoot up some bad guys? How about that? You know what I mean? That was my thought process. But I don't know, man. This whole thing, it just feels like a reality check that maybe I just need to. I don't know if I should just keep pushing, you know, hope that people will donate and help out with the the lap with, with the laptop. This laptop is finna die soon. I, you know what I mean? Like I couldn't even save up money to get this get a new laptop, man. This I can't run the programs that I need to run in order to be as interactive as I can. It's something something else. You know, this laptop has been is damn near ten years old and I'm finna not have a means to stream the way that I'm doing just one thing after another man like, I 
you know, I just hope something, and, you know, because nowadays I'm on a time, I'm like, like I'm literally on the clock, like I'm on, like I'm on a time clock, like I can't even sit around and like BS you, like I got until possibly August to do something and make a living off of this, otherwise I'm not going to be in a, you know, like I might... You know what I'm saying? Son, I might be homeless, man. Like, I might be homeless. Going through all that, going through everything I've been through in my life up until now, it's just like, like, damn, I, I, I don't know. Like, did I waste time? Like, you know, like, just need a fucking miracle to happen for me. Right now, I'm just like I'm scared, man. Like I'm scared, you know. Like you know, cause when I first got here, it was like it was easy for me to get a job. Now it's like it's getting harder for me to get a job now because people not responding to you know to the, the applications. I call nonstop, annoying. They got my name. They know my name on a first name basis at this point. You know, I'm pretty sure if they got a call ID, they see my number, my my number, and they do like, okay, it's it's him again. Like, it's just, it's like, I don't know, dude. Like I'm, I'm trying not to let myself fall into like this depressive state, like I was back in Louisiana. But it's just like it's slowly but surely, you know, like it, it just caught back up to me. <laughs> 